there. <laughs> what kind of fool am I? Hey, I got to tell you, I'm dating a girl from Hoboken, New Jersey. Her name is Melba Schwartz. <laughs> oh, and does she have bad breath? I'm telling you. I mean, when she breathes, my face breaks out. You know what she told me? She said, honey, it's better to have bad breath than no breath at all. <laughs> what kind of fool am I? Oh, hello there. You know, people are always asking me, how do you like show business? And I tell them, I love it. It's just the people in the business I can't stand. I want to tell you about my first girlfriend. She was out there slopping hogs. She just sort of stood out, you know. Oh, did she ever. She rolled them big brown eyes at me, and I picked them up and rolled them right back at her. She had teeth like summer, summer here and summer there. She had a nose like a big red rose, and it ran all day like a garden hose. She wore braces, and I wore braces, and we used to kiss each other just to see the sparks fly. <laughs> Golly, shazam, shazam, shazam. Hi, I'm a Marine. In fact, I was in the Marines for four years. Golly. I tell you, I won every medal that you could win. I won Purple Heart. Bronze star, silver star, I tell you, my chest was covered with medals. I tell you, we went to Vietnam, and I won a bunch of medals there. Went to Iraq, won a bunch of medals there. Went to Iraq again, won a bunch more medals. Went to Oklahoma, and Sarge threw me in a stockade, because he said we weren't at war with Oklahoma. Golly, shazam, shazam, shazam. Hi, Joe. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got to tell you my life story. Yeah. I was born at a very early age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, it was such a momentous occasion, I was speechless for 15 months. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got to tell you, when I was 10, I was left an orphan. Now, what can a 10-year-old boy do with an orphan? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, when I was born, my father looked at me and said, He's going to take after me. And my mother said, no, he's going to take after me. I fooled them all. I broke out of the incubator and took after my nurse. <laughs> Up in the morning, out on the job. Work like the devil for my pay. While that lucky old son's got nothing to do but roll around heaven all day. Good Lord up above, can't you know I'm pining? Tears all in my eyes. Send down that cloud with a silver lining. Lift me to paradise, show me that river, and take me across, and wash all my troubles away, while that lucky old son's got nothing to do but roll around heaven all day. Hey, I'm muddy. And I'm 150 years old, yes, and proud of it. Oh, I love children, I really do. Boiled, baked, or fried. <laughs> I was in the Senior Olympics last year, the pole vault. Pole vaulted 22 feet. Oh, it was wonderful. Only problem was I completely missed the pit. Oh, oh broke every bone in my pelvic region. Wasn't that a thrill? Now I'm on Darvacet. Percocet, Valium, Vicodin, Oxycontin, and morphine. Of course I have a lot of pain. I just really don't care. <laughs> hey, I tell you, I get no respect. Yeah. I told my wife when I die I want to be cremated. She says, you got a match? Oh, I tell you. I told her, what can I do to make you happy? She says, you could die and leave me your life insurance. I gave my kids a BB gun for Christmas. You know what they gave me? A t-shirt with a target on the chest. I tell you, I get no respect, yeah. Hello, Bern. This is your old buddy, Ernest P. Whirl. Know what I mean? Listen, I have been trying a new experiment. 
Yeah, putting French calogny on my face. It has given me such magnetism, the women will not leave me alone. I have to carry a stick around with me everywhere I go just to fight them off. I went to Hollywood, California, and who would I meet but Cindy Crawford? You know what she said to me? Kiss me, Ernest. Kiss me, Ernest. I said, lady, you couldn't pay me to kiss you, but I'd do it for free. You know what I mean, right? Huh? This is a big one, Elizabeth. This is a big one. I'm coming to see you, honey. Oh, my goodness. So many white people here look like a Purex commercial gone wild. Good gravy. I tell you, I've been very depressed lately. Went to see a psychiatrist, talked to him for two hours. He said, Fred, I hate to tell you this, but you crazy. I said, I'm going to get a second opinion. He says, okay, you ugly too. I'm coming to see you, honey. I'm coming to see you. Hi, my name's Geraldine. I tell you, I'm bad. I knock your lights out. Mm -hmm. I'm married to Killer. He's my husband. I told Killer, if he didn't start taking out the trash, I'm going to hit him so hard his head's going to ring like a tin penny nail hit by a greasy ball pin hammer. Woo! What you say? Well, you know, I was very proud to be the president at one time. Got to tell you about this big dinner we had with the Prime Minister of Japan. There we were, the cameras rolling, God in heaven watching us. And what did they serve us? Boiled okra and broccoli. You know what I say about boiled okra. It's the slippery when you eat it. You got to cross your legs. It goes down so fast. Whew. Then there's that gosh awful broccoli. Hate broccoli. Never prudent to eat broccoli. But I had to be a good guest and eat the broccoli. Well, I ate it turned green, hurl on the Prime Minister of Japan. What are you gonna say after you hurl on the Prime Minister of Japan? Thought about it, meditated on it, turned to the Prime Minister, I said, that's for Pearl, that's for Pearl. There you go, there you go.